All right, today for lesson number two, we're going to count some real objects and get some practice in counting one through ten. So I went to the kitchen and I found me some almonds. So that's what we're going to use. So we're going to put one right over here and we're going to start counting. So that's going to be almond number what for our counting? That's almond number one, isn't it? Okay, we put another one next to that almond. Now how many almonds do we have? We got what? One, two. Alrighty, let's put another almond out there. Now how many almonds do we have? One, two, three. Okay, and another one. Okay, how many almonds is that? Want to count with me? One, two, three, four. Alrighty, let's put another almond out there. Now how many almonds do we have? We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I got a few more. Let's put one more out here. Okay, now how many almonds do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and another one. That's going to make it how many? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven almonds. Let's put another one. Now how many almonds do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And another one. Let's count those up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one more. How many is that going to make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Well, that's what 10 almonds looks like. And you can practice by looking around the house and seeing what you can find to count up to 10 by counting things like you can count some coins. You can go look for some small pieces of fruit like grapes, cherries, raisins, strawberries. What else? You could even get uh, bigger fruit like apples and bananas. You can count those up too. Uh, you can go to the bookshelf and count books. You can count you know, socks in your drawer, you can go count things in the kitchen. Just get lots of practice in counting 1 through 10 real live objects like these almonds here. And we'll be back tomorrow to continue our lesson on the chalkboard. We'll do some more work with counting 1 through 10. So we'll see you tomorrow for lesson 3.